Hey traders, John Howell here. In this video, I want to talk to you about market cycles and how the markets really work when it comes to the cycles of things. Um, and uh, one thing I've been learning from Ray Dalio. So let's go. Let's go straight into it, guys. This video here is educational only. I'm not saying to place a trade. I'm not saying to put any positions on the markets right now because no one knows what's going to happen. Okay, so if you haven't grabbed the ten videos, twelve hour trading course yet, then first thing in the description makes sure you grab that. All right, so one thing I want to share with you is about one thing I've been learning from Ray Dalio's Big Dead Crises, which is uh, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, is how the markets work and the cycles and so on and so forth, okay? Now, if you think about this, let's get straight into it. Let's remember the screen. So what we're looking at right now is simply just a weekly chart of the Dow Jones. Now, let's look at this here, okay? So back here in 2009, what happened through here? Obviously, it was towards the end of the 2008 market meltdown, right? And we started to come out of that time there. What happened there? Interest rates went down to zero, okay? And injection of capital, quantitative easing, started to rise up. Makes sense, right? So that's what happened. And then we started to rise through here, as we know. And that was the thing that, that, that created this, this movement in the markets. Makes sense? And then we went through a period through here. Is this the, is this the market top? Well, if you understand, one thing I really understand about market cycles is no, there was no, this was not going to be the top in the markets. Why? Because they didn't even start to raise interest rates here, right? Think about it. If they dropped interest rates, if they drop interest rates um, and, and they increase the, you know, the quantitative easing, then that's obviously going to make the market go up, right? Now, Let's take everything out the window. Let's just talk about interest rates here. What happens when they start, if, if the low zero interest rates was the effect of this thing going up, well, what happens when the market starts to raise interest rates? And as we know, I think it was 2000 and, I think it was, uh, I think it was 2000 and, so let me just show you this here, right? I'm gonna show you this here. This is from a, let me take everything off the screen here so I can share this website with you here. That I'm looking at. So right, as you can see, right, this is the U.S. Fed. This is the U.S. Fed uh, funds rate here. As you can see, right, this is where we are right now. So as you can see, right, and, and Ray Dalio talks about this a lot. He says that when they start to raise interest rates, that's not the top of the market, but when they start to raise interest rates a lot, then about five months afterwards, that's when you start to get a peak in the markets. So as you can see here, right, we're down here, and the first interest rate was was a 2016. See that there? And it was hot, and then they, they they raised the interest rates, rise, and then they just started just going sideways, right? It just it didn't do anything for half a year. And then they slowly raised it and slowly raised it. Look at this here. Look at this here. Remember I said before, Ray Dalio says, if you look at the interest rate rise, it's when they start to really rise it up a lot compared to the history, then that's when we're about five months out from the top of the market. Makes sense? So as you can see, look at this here. We went through 2016. Uh, actually, it looks like this, this here would be... Actually, you know what? Let me do this here. So if I go down to say five years worth of data, what will that do if I go to one year? All right, so as you can see, this is one year. Let's go to that one there. Let's go one year worth of data. Like I can see that through there. So, right, so you can see pretty much, looks like looks like it was um, pretty much nothing through. Um, we had, look at this here. So yeah, so we had a, we had a, you could see that we're having a rate rise through here. So it looks like basically 2017, one in 2016, nothing in 2017, and then uh, sorry, to, from start of 2000 and started end of 2015 into 2016, looks like there was nothing in 2017 as you can see through here, and so this is 17 through here, and then look at this here, we started to raise interest rates through here, and then once we got into 2018, look at this thing just start to rally, right? We just really, really, really started the interest rate rise. Now, what Ray Dalio talks about is the cycles is when we do that, when we do that in the cycles of all the crashes in history, the cycle is when they start to raise interest rates a lot compared to the history, then we're around about five months out to the market. So, and as you can see, right, let me just go down to say one year worth of data. As you can see, right, the, the interest rates have been rising pretty quickly throughout this entire year, haven't they? Um, throughout 2017, and this is January 1, and obviously we're looking at right now as well too, right? And we've been rising interest rate through here 
uh, you know, pretty steadily as well too. So as you can see, we've been for the last sort of 12 months, we've been rising, 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 rising through there. We'll go to um, 10 year, as you can see, the 10 year is obviously the market crashed and then they started to raise interest rates. Makes sense? And then that's, that's when, if you look at this here, right? Look at this here. So the market dropped down, 2009, they, they, the, the, the market bottomed out. Guess what happened to asset prices? Market going up. Then what happened in 2016? They, they started to raise interest rate, nothing happened with asset prices. And then they started 2017 into 2018 as they step right, started rising, 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 rising. And then as, let's, let's actually do this here. So if you look at this as a curve, right, you can see that, let's just say this was the market, right? So the mar as the interest rates went down, market went up. Market went up, market went up, market went up. And then we got to 2018, didn't we? Got to 2018, and then guess what? It hit a critical point of them raising interest rates for quite some time through here, all through this point through here. And then what ended up happening is that then the market came off a little bit more, tried to have another rally back up, and now we've come back down again, haven't we? We've actually created a bit of a bit of a head and shoulder formation, something like this here as well. Um, you, you know what I mean, right? So as you can see, it's 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 a it's a kind of it's a it's a kind of it's a bit of a it's an opposite effect, isn't it? If you look at that there, if I go to a green line here, as you can see, when interest rates go down, it causes the market to go up. When the interest rates go up, it causes the market to go down. So if this created the whole bull market through here, and now we're really starting to raise interest rates through here, and we may get another interest rate in December, Again, all, it's all, all based on cycles, right? So please guys, this is the reason why I did a video yesterday and this is the reason why I'm saying that the, that, that the stock market top is in and we're gonna see the crash over the next couple of years. It's on the wall. It's not like suddenly something's gonna change and they're gonna start to do whatever, like no. It's based on cycles. Please guys, it's, it's not me saying this, okay? History repeats itself, doesn't it? Or history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. So when we're looking at this here, when we're understanding, when we're looking at these charts here, and let me actually go back to the actual chart itself. Look at this here, right? Look at this here. It was 2018, wasn't it? And then we started to create a bit of a topping pattern in the markets. And as we can see what's happening right now on the Dow Jones, head and shoulder formation. What's happening on the S&P 500? Big head and shoulder formation. And NASDAQ, big rounding top. So we're creating this big rounding top right now. Why? cycles it just makes sense right so many people and this is one thing that i always thought as well too but the fundamentals are good john one thing that ray dalio talks about in his big Dead crisis is that the fundamentals are always good and the fundamentals are always really good at the top of the market and the fundamentals are always really bad at the bottom of the market do you know what i mean like 2009 what what, what were the fundamentals can you say it with me shitey that's right. That's a new term. Shitey. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So do you see how this is the overall picture? This is where the market's gone. It's like, it's not like, you're not guessing. It's like, you know where it's going to go. It's not like, well, I hope it goes down. Like, no, you know where it's going to go for the next couple of years. Based on what we see, this is the facts, right? We know, and, and, and if you read Ray Dalio's Big Dead Crisis books, you can see the cycles of how things play out. Now, the thing is, you don't know how long it's going to play out. We are going to see the crash in the next couple of years, aren't we? We just know that. But how long is that, how long, how long is that going to play out? You know, and, or how long is it going to take for that to happen? It may take six months. It may take two, it, it, it might, might take, you know, might take of all 2019 and all 2020 for this thing to really crash. 50, 60, 70%. Makes sense? Or it may only, it, it may, it may only pull back, it may only pull back, you know, 30, 40, maybe it's about 50%. We just don't know, right? But we know we're at the top of the market. So the bear market in the indices anyway, stock market is stock market's different. We've been a bear market in the mining and we've been a bear market for GE and some other stocks as well too, right? So this is not for the whole market, but looking at the actual market itself, that's the reason why the charts are creating this rounding top because now you see the interest rates are happening. And again, it's based on the cycle analysis. This is the reason why the stock market top is in and, you know, the market is going to see major downturn in the next couple of years. It's just on the wall. It's in the writing. There is no ifs or buts or, or or what. You know what I mean? It's just, again, it's just on the wall. So this is the reason why I did this video is because I wanted to share with you, like, be smart about the way you're investing, but be excited about this. If you know how to short the market, and I'm so, so, so excited about this market right now because I'm, I'm just really, 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 really excited about looking for these options and looking for these trades. You know what I mean? 
So I hope you can see the reason why I'm excited about this market. And I hope you can see the reason why, you know, again, the market goes down a lot quicker. And if you're positioned properly over the next couple of years, then you can do really, 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 really well from this. And again, I'm not saying that you should place a short position. I'm, I'm always looking, I'm looking for short positions. Actually, I'm short. I'm short Bitcoin right now. And I'm also short two other stocks right now. So I'm going to benefit from this market pulling back over the next three to, you know, this next say, um, my shortest term trade is three months and then I've got a six month trade and then I'm looking to place, I'm looking to place some more options for the next couple of years in these markets. Like, you know, January 20, you know, January 2020 put options on these things and, and then join the next couple of years of what the market is going to give me. It's on the wall. Please guys, don't be ignorant to what the market's doing right now. Be excited and understand this thing. Again, guys, please go read Red De Ray Dalio's Big Debt Crisis. Read it. Again, you're only, you're only taking around about 10% of what you read. So read that, even if you read the very first chat, the very first, uh, when you order it, it becomes like a thing, right? Uh, but what the, the architect of big deck cycles, just read that guys, read it and read it. I'm, I'm not joking, read it 10 to 15 times. You only retain around 10% of what you read the very first time. And the more that I read this, the more that I talk about it, the more that I listen to Ray Dalio, the more everything just makes sense. And everything I talked about in this video, the reason why I'm saying we're at the top of the market. This is the top. The crash is going to happen the next couple of years. So be prepared. Don't be scared of it. Get ready. Learn how to benefit from it. And it could be an amazing, amazing, amazing time for you. Before you go, make sure you grab the free Grab the Markets by the Balls training course. In this training course, you're going to learn the top 13 deadly mistakes, the success formula, charting boundaries, the PT method, the ultimate trading system, the blast off trading system, number one in trading indicator, the million dollar trade and money management, how successful traders approach the market, and so much more. Get this trading course for free right now. Click on the very first link in the description to get this whole complete trading course to give you the edge on your side of trading this market. Do that right now, and I'll see you on the other side.